what, how were you aware that there was something going on? Oh, a lady about three seats up yep. on the left, she started yelling out for help. Yeah. And the stewardesses came to help and a couple of other people stood up and mm. the, uh, it was obvious that the guy was in mm. having a heart attack. Yeah. So yelling out and everything. So mm. a couple of people grabbed him and put him yeah. on the floor. Yeah. And while they put him on the floor, I just uh, jumped in between the two seats. Oh, no, I know, and I jumped in to help and started doing the breaths. Yeah. But the girl who was doing the breaths, who was a nurse, who was doing the... CPR, who was a nurse, yeah. was only small, so I okay. swap, I told her I'd swap, so I jumped over the seat and, yeah. and fit in between the seats and started yeah. doing CPR. Okay. That sounds pretty extraordinary because you had you, who's been CPR trained, and yes. you're actually a CPR trainer, Yes. and a nurse, and a doctor from Royal Flying Doctor Service. Yes, she came in later, she was down the front of the plane, and she came in shortly oh. afterwards when she got a chance to get up there. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. And another guy who yeah. was... Who's a guy from Longridge who does? Uh, he works at the spelling yards, the cattle spelling yards, and he came in as well. Um, is that the first time you've had to do something like this? Actually, yes, use your skills? Actually, actually, use it on another person, yeah. Oh, other yeah. than in training. Yeah, and and you said it's different um, unless you actually do it. So was it different? Was it? Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Well, the mannequin's just yeah. A, yeah. a piece of plastic with no legs and arms. Yeah. So and it doesn't do anything and his chest doesn't change for you but mm. this guy you were putting breaths into him so his mm. chest was rising and falling and mm. he was it was a it was an older man, he was eighty one year old but very strong. Mm. Yeah. And um, mm. it was just a whole different scenario. And yeah. you don't care if the mannequin lives or die, do you? No. You do when it's a real person. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So were you finding um I mean how are you feeling? Was it sort of a sense of panic or were you pretty calm about it or no, mm. we just got into a rhythm. I just, yeah. I kind yeah. of, I just kind of struck everybody else out of my head except for the, mm. the nurse who would who would, uh, yell for you know, tell us to stop so they could do um, mm. a pulse, and then mm. um, I was talking to the guy beside me and we worked out a, a rhythm that gave us enough time to be able to do CPR and for him to stop and then I'd mm. do it and then I'd do it and then he'd know when I'm ready and we'd swap over. Can Thirty you? minutes. We we're in the yeah. air. Yeah. And the pilot decided he'd divert from Brisbane to Emerald because it was closer. Yeah. So we kept on going for 30 minutes, and mm. that 30 minutes included in the air. Then we landed, and mm. then the plane stopped. Mm. So it was about 30 minutes from what we all worked out. Yeah. And then the ambulance came on board, and they came running over, mm. and they have to have an end time, and mm. it just so happens that they they were doing it for 40 minutes after our 30 minutes. So okay. that was like 40, yeah. 45 minutes, and yeah. they kind of had to put an end time because you've got to. Mm. do something else so they were going to just mm -hmm. going to take me to the hospital and see how it went for me. <laughs> what sort of what sort of feeling was it when you actually saw him breathe? I mean, what oh, was a bit of a shock actually because yeah. like he was uh, his eyes were glazed over and all of yeah. a sudden he came to and it was like yeah. a bit of a shock we all kind yeah. of stood back and the heart was going and you haven't seen a heart going for 30 minutes for uh -huh. 45 minutes so yeah. it was yeah. quite a shock yeah. and yep. um, I stood up and I said to the nurse I said he's breathing and she just looked at me and I said, that's good, isn't it? 